Welcome to the Intended Inch News. I am your host, Chris Tysis, and we're here to talk a little more about this Resident Evil 7 news that's coming as a cloud version to um, the Nintendo Switch. Now, I'm going to say I'm pretty disappointed in this news. Now, it doesn't mean that it won't come to the West, and it doesn't mean that there may be a cartridge version of it too. However, the thing that I'm disappointed in that obviously the title is, is if you go past that 180 days, if you live in Japan, uh, you may lose your save file. So you don't actually get to keep your save file on the Switch console itself. So let's just say you elapse that time and um, you pay your money a little bit later after the due date. Um, it means that you may actually lose your save data, which is really annoying. So I don't know why Capcorn's done it. It's a really bad decision. And it means that you don't actually own anything. You're just basically paying money to a service where you don't get to download the game. You don't even get to keep the save file on your, on your console. So you might as well just go off to an arcade and just play some arcade games because that's essentially what you're doing. You're just putting money into something that you don't own. And that's why I'm not really a big fan of cloud games because there's no option for that sort of thing. So I'm not very happy about it. I think this is a really sucky thing for Capcom to do. And leave us your thoughts um, about what you think about this. Hopefully this is not the beginning of them doing this sort of stuff. I think their support for the Switch has been really up and down. A lot of mixed messages and their support has not been the best. Um, I'm going to be honest, it hasn't been that great. But I'm interested to hear your thoughts about what you think about um, no save um, data that is going to be available on the Switch. So everything is on the cloud now. Everything's on the cloud. So that is it for me and I shall see you later on.